in the Bible when God was talking to Jeremiah. God went to Jeremiah and he said, man, I want you to be my voice. I got a word that I want you to deliver to my people, but I want to speak it directly through you. Jeremiah came back to God and said, I don't know if I can do that. Like, I don't I'm not the one who speaks. I'm not sure if my voice is strong enough. Like, I don't know if I have what it takes to deliver your word. And God was like, what are you talking about? I told you that I'm going to use you as a vessel to deliver the word to my people. So I need you to get in line with exactly what I have called for you, whether you feel like it or not. This is a command. And I thought to myself, oh, my goodness, even back in the biblical days, imposter syndrome was real. The individuals that God was using and positioned in order to deliver his message didn't even feel as though they were called to do what they were called to do. And how many of us in our situations are waiting for a moment to think that we are sharp enough to do what we've been called to do when all the time being God is saying, I'm, mo- I'm moving through you. At what moment in time will you allow yourself to be a vessel through which God can use you and not think that you have to be perfect in perfection alone by yourself? At what moment in time will you see that the vessel that you are, the vessel that you are has already been cleansed in a way that is allowing God to move through you. But if you are the only one that is impeding by your own self-doubt, by your own self-criticism, by your own self-judgment, by your own lack of worthiness, by your own word to yourself. If you don't see that you have already been put in that position to be the one to do the thing that you've been called to do, if you don't see that in yourself, that what you are doing is impeding what your creator already put on you and inside of you. I was reading that and I'm thinking to myself, God called Jeremiah to do the work that he's been called to do. But the only person that didn't know that he was called to do it was Jeremiah. Why would God use someone who didn't know that he had the tools, the resources and the skills to do such a job? Why would he still call upon that individual to do the work that he wanted him to do? And then I thought about it and I was like, wow, I think there's an element of purity in his spirit to say, I don't know if I'm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if it's me. And God's saying, actually, that's good because you're not now, now you're not going to be moving on your ego. Now you know, now you know that I'm going to be moving through you so that when I put you in a position to do the work that you've been called to do, You're not going to pat yourself on the back like another person in the world. Well, you now know that when I move through you, you now know how it feels to be a vessel. Each and every one of us are vessels. This is what it means to put aside the ego and put yourself in a position where you say, I want to be used. This is what it means when you really say, I want to be used by you. God, I want to be used by you. I don't want to be in a position where I'm leaning on my own ego and my own confidence and my own my my, my own courage. Like, I don't want to be put in that position. God put me in a position where when other people see the reflection through which the work that I do, they understand that I'm standing as a vessel to be a reflection, to remind them that the same thing that is moving through me can move through them at any moment, because that is how you've called me in this moment. This is what is being this is what is happening to each and every one of us right now. At what moment do you allow yourself to stand tall and say, wow, I am the firm foundation through which God can use? At what moment? So I read that and I'm like, man, what is the block? And the only block for Jeremiah was Jeremiah. There was nothing in the world stopping Jeremiah. The only block for Jeremiah was Jeremiah. The only block for Jeremiah was Jeremiah. It was the word in him. It was the spirit in him. The only block for Jer- you're not hearing me. The only block for you is you. You've been looking for a word. You've been looking for a person. You've been looking for a resource. You've been looking for something on the outside. You've been looking for inspiration. You've been looking for a movement. 
You've been looking for a positioning. You've been looking for a sign. You've been looking for a signal. You've been looking for that city. You've been looking for that job. You've been looking for that person. You've been looking around for the world. You've been looking for someone to call you. You've been looking for someone to point you. You've been looking for someone to actually ascend. That is not the case. It's on you and you alone. Ah, I'm not talking to everybody, but I'm talking to one. I'm not talking to everyone, but I'm talking to one. Your voices, this is the time. Mm-hmm. This is the time. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking to everybody, but I'm talking to one. If you hear the sound of my voice, I'm just talking to you straight from my heart. Jeremiah was only blocked by Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah was only blocked by Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah was only blocked by Jeremiah. At what point will you get out of your own way? My question to you is, at what point will you get out of your own way? At what point will you get out of your own way? Your time is now. Your positioning is now. Your talent is here. I can't wait to see you on the other side. Get out of your own way. Hear me. Hear me. Get out of your own way.